This is going to be extremely exciting and fantastic. We're going to run. Jump. Hi, I'm Jacques D'Amboise, and I'm here in Shanghai with dancers from New York City's National Dance Institute on the other side of the world. Can we put a show together with hundreds of Chinese children, dancers, and artists, and none of us speak Chinese? But dance has its own language. And we'll be dancing with Dodo Wang. China's premier dancer. Go! Knees higher, bigger steps, come on, like a horse. Dodo dance, and I realize that he is a very great dancer, but even more, he's a great artist. From the other side of the world, this old dancer would like to renew his spirit by coming around to this side of the world and be able to collaborate with a very great artist. And that was done because of Shirley Young, and we're here at this table now, and I'm very honored to be here. Things move fast in China. We were barely off the plane, and already at the Shanghai Children's Festival, with dancers from all over the world. And we would be dancing too. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. And one, two, three, four. How do we got it? <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. John. Everyone. Jet lag means you grab a nap whenever you can. Our first look at the Shanghai Theatre, where everything has to come together. What a beautiful theatre. Shirley, you'll love this. Every theatre I'd go to when I was performing, I'd go early, early in the morning before, you know, anybody was there, and I'd lie in the stage and take a nap. <laughs> Why? To be close to where to I was, close to, where you to sleep with, to sleep with the floor. 
that was my life. That's right. You know? So, you going to jump across the stage? No. I <laughs> jump across. Shirley gave me a tour. You know, Balanchine told me, when a woman goes down the stairs, always go before her. In case she falls. <laughs> right. And when the opposite way, when you go up. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, to catch her. I see. <laughs> That's a good idea, especially with the way I use your shoes. <laughs> Our next stop was to meet Dodo and rehearse at his studio. Two of them straight front, and then one, two, three, four. Go! One, two, three, four. Window! Back in the room! Welcome everyone can go to the Shanghai Song and Dance Ensemble. Uh, I hope we will have a very nice uh, work together. Since we are men, your English has gotten much better. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could say the same about our Chinese. <laughs> All right. From New York, Shanghai, together, we will dance. We're going to be a, doing a big dance together. And I asked Dodo for eight dancers. And he uh, suggested you. So come. It's a clock. I'm going to put my right foot on 12 and bring it back. The left. The right on 3. At the end, freeze. Good. Volunteer.
Things were moving in China. There were always groups of children joining us. This group is from the Shanghai Special Olympics. Good morning and welcome. My name is Jacques. Jacques, and we are very happy to meet you and to meet you. I'm very happy to Thank you. So now we want to spread out, spread out. One more time. Straight up. Yes. Six. Yes! Good! Yes! Get her to, right? Get her to do it. Together. Ready? There's nothing wrong with these children. Why are they going on about there's nothing wrong? They're superb children. I won't have any problem with them. They're terrific. So when you said you're interested, I said, this is the right thing to do. And the medium doesn't matter. It can be dance, it can be choral, it can be whatever. But it's the individual representing what Western values are about. And then having the kids, through the arts, connect on a common basis. So dance has no language barriers and it has no racial barriers or anything as you have demonstrated. And that's what I thought would be so valuable. So that's what you hope for, that you know or you hope that you've changed people's lives in a little way, changed their perspectives on things, you know, and I think, you know, at particularly the age group we're dealing with, I know these are hugely impactful. You know, kids who are 12, 14, 16, I mean, these are hugely impactful experiences. The next group to add to our show were students here at the Children's Palace. My name is Jacques. And this is April. 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 This is fast. This is slow. We're picking the 12 children that will dance with our 12 to represent the other side of the world. From, right? Judy Collins' song and Peter Gennaro's choreography that we're trying to do justice to. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Reach down, reach down, down you go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Side to side step, this one, this one, and this. Practice that. But just a warm up to start. 
Thanks, Dustin. Thank you. Dustin, Dustin started with me as a little boy and was always great. And when I did my first big uh, residency in Israel, Dustin was key to making that a success. And he's just superb. And for some reason, he has a magic, it's like a bear. A bear that you love, you know, like everybody has a teddy bear when they're little. He's a Hispanic teddy bear from Washington Heights, New York, that everybody loves. <laughs> This is a classic bow. Now, you bring her. Now, let her go to center and look, you step back and say, there she is. And when you bow, it's the prince with the queen. So the bow has a little bit towards her. You're gonna bow for yourself, but it's also bow. It's, see? Now you lead her back, and now you lead her out. But when you get to the wing, she precedes you. Now if you stay and do this, no good. After she precedes you, see? let's see you do that. We were on a deadline for performance. In every corner of the room, dancers were rehearsing. There was so much to do. I was terrified. We're not going to make it. They're in four big dances that must be choreographed within this short period of time. Do I sound angry? I'm losing an hour of rehearsal already. The whole thing from the top. In the middle. No. In the middle. Slower, Zach. Slower. Now do this set. Ready? And not sweet. Tell her not sweet. It's ah! Strong. You're going. It's not strong. Strong. I don't know, April, if you're translating this. Because, well, then why don't they understand? Okay. How did Napoleon do it? I ask you, how did Napoleon do it? Ah! Now I feel better. <laughs> as far as we're concerned, we're in trouble. That's why you see me exploding. It's not about 
you. It's you. Thank God for you. It's about the frustration of knowing how good this show is, knowing how good these children are, and how wonderful they are, and how if we had the time, even those little dumpy boys that are kind of terrified, right? They would, we would be able to make them dancing, you know, with energy and life. We ate and ate and ate a lot. We went from one rehearsal studio to another and back. And we danced and danced and danced. Nobody ever rested. I want you to meet our star and beautiful dancer. This is Dodo. These are your dances, Dodo. <laughs> Dodo had to learn everything in just a few days. The show needed an improv section, while some of the cast made a costume change. So I gave it to Dodo to do. Okay. Two steps. Two step hop jump. 
three, three, four. One, two, and three, four. Now, if he does this carefully and slowly and yet, it will be fascinating for the audience. Good. Now another step. Yeah. Maybe we can like Good. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Put everybody once, okay? Okay. Try. One, two, three, four. One. Two. Three. Woo! Good. Good step. Interesting. Interesting. I would never have thought of it. Five, six, seven. I'm not sure. I think I got a hernia. I get a sharp pain right in this where the muscle liner is. You know, I lost the prostate about two months ago, three months ago. That's one thing. Now the hernia, the, the knees, the knees are going. The hernia. And you know what? I'm happy. I don't understand why. It's watching your body disintegrate and being part of nature knowing that it's time to die and you're gonna go join the rest of humanity in the universe, everything there is. And it's happening in stages. <laughs> but we're gonna get this thing performed beautifully before I go.
At last, we're in the theater. There's so much to bring together. And we've only got two days. Five, six, seven, go! Ba going back! Lift your feet! I can go! Go! Bang! Boom! Down low! Low! My National Dance Institute team came out from New York City to help me. Headsets on. Now can you hear me? Sam Ellis to do the lights and stage manage. Is the same. Okay. I can't hear anything, though. <laughs> Karen Hart to make the costumes. And Rosemary Carey to make everything work. Stand by Q3. Q3, go. Sometimes it's good to. <laughs> See? My buddy in New York City, Will Power, wrote me a song about ancestors coming out from under the ground. So I invented a dance for Dodo to do.
Now they're going into the theater, so I'm gonna go backstage and wish good luck to yes, everybody. Okay, fine. All right. We are good luck. Good luck, dancers. Good luck. Now the show belongs to the dancers. All I can do is go out front and become part of the audience. And they lock the door. Ready? I want to go out front. I can lock the door. I don't know how to get out. This way. They lock the door. I can't get out front. Never mind. I'm going to watch from here.
it's time to say goodbye, adieu, so long, Saijin. And I always say that in the word of goodbye in Chinese, there's a tear in the sound. Listen, Saijin, Saijin. I'm gonna miss all of you. 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 We see each other again. There's no big meaning about today's show. It's children coming together and learning, experiencing a discipline, an order of how you move when you move, and what is the expression of that movement. It's the essence of dance. Dance is not trivial. Dance and music, who are together like time and space, express our human emotions better than anything else. And I am very privileged to have a life in those arts, and even more privileged as an older man. I'm a thousand years old to be able to go to children and try to ins inspire them with the love of controlling how they move to express emotion. It is important for children to have everything good, the best of everything, the best air, the best food, the best places to go to school, the best love from parents, from friends, from community, from family, from government, if we don't do this, there's no future. No future. If you give children bad, they grow up bad and they pass on bad. If you give children good, they grow up good and they pass on good. Simple formula. Can I go? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Sai you. Thank you. Sai Thank you. I'm taking you home with me. <laughs> Our month in China was over. It was so sad saying goodbye. So what did we do? We danced together one last time. For me and NDI, it was not goodbye to Dodo. He was to become my friend and come to New York City on the other side of the world and dance with us again.
And soon I was tall, I put all my dreaming aside. Paradise 